on, we need you. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I have. I almost killed my chiropractor today. Done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. Happy Monday guys, welcome to a productive week in the life. I can already tell my week is going to be super productive, super busy. I'm taking my Christmas tree down this week. I think it's about time to put away my Christmas tree and put back my egg chair right here. In the beginning, I wasn't loving the fact that my egg chair is here in my bedroom. I was like, I do not want this in my bedroom. But it's been here for around six weeks, going to two months, around roughly two months. And I am loving this egg chair right here. So comfy. I just sit right here, look through the window. I sit right here to journal, meditate, do a bunch of stuff, enjoy a glass of wine in my me time right here. So comfy. But it's time to go back in this corner right here and put away my Christmas tree until the next 10, 11 months from now. But this year, I think I'm gonna do more colors on my Christmas tree. It's pretty nude for the most part. I'm gonna add some colors to it this year. But oh, Christmas tree, it was a pleasure having you here. You brought so much joy, so much goodies in my life last Christmas. I did enjoy you. I sat right here and did what I got for Christmas, right in this pot right here. Here and did what I got for Christmas. If you guys haven't seen that video, please check that video out. Christmas, I love Christmas. I love Christmas. But this right here, I have to fix this ASAP. It's been driving me crazy all day. I need coffee. This is unacceptable. I have to fix this ASAP. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you know. <laughs> It feels like a nine degree. Tuesday, guys. Welcome to a cold Tuesday. Oh, the weather. I'm making some Jamaican red pea soup for dinner. I have the remainder of my ham bone that I made for Christmas. So you already know how delicious my soup is going to be. Let's make some soup. Let me just say, I know soup is supposed to have a dumpling in it, a traditional authentic Jamaican soup. Pea soup, uh, we normally have like cornmeal dumpling and stuff, but I'm not a dumpling person. So I apologize for all the dumpling lovers. I, I'm not a dumpling person, so my soups don't have dumpling. That's the only thing will be missing from my soup. Normally in a pea soup, I would use a pigtail, but because I have the ham bone, that just replaced the, the pigtail. But yeah, let's get cooking. It's cold outside. Oh my God. It's literally 20 degrees. I have my peas soaking from last night to tenderize it with some garlic. So this is my peas. I'm using a pack of peas, an entire pack of peas, because I want my soup to be very rich with the peas. So yes, I'm gonna leave this to cook. This is the ham bone, the remainder of my ham that I made for Christmas. There is still some meat to it, a lot of fat. I'm gonna remove some of the fat right here. Over here, I have some beef. Over here, I have my cock soup. I'll be using two cock soup, my thyme, my pepper, my pimento. I'm gonna add a piece of this pumpkin, um, yellow yam, Irish potato, sweet potato, carrots, and chocho. So this is all my ingredients that will 
be in my pot along with my beef the peas and the ham bone and again i sincerely apologize for all the dumpling lovers but shauna doesn't like dumplings so yeah i'm having the beef to cook along with the peas and also the ham bone already cut up the pumpkin chocho and carrots I'm gonna now add this to the peas and the meat in the pots I only have the ambon the beef and the peas So let this cook and I'll be back. Let's check on the peas and the meat. As you can see, nice, just the way I want it. The meat, I've left the bone. This is the bone right here. Remember before, there was so much meat attached to the ham bone. So I have like tons of meat in the pot. Smells so good. Ham bone and pigtail make a big difference in peas, in a pea soup or stew peas. I'm going to sit right here and I'm going to peel my yam, sweet potato and Irish potato and add it to the pot. Let's cut this in half. Sweet potato. This is one of my favorite thing in pea soup. I love sweet potato. Irish potato. I'm adding my sweet potato, my yam, and my Irish potato into the soup. Smells and looks so delicious. I can't wait. Okay, I'm going to have two cock soup. I did have some beef bunion in it to give it that beef flavor. Two cups of mix. I'm going to also add my pimento. Along with my scallion. time I'm 
gonna also add two green pepper. And yeah, I'm gonna let my soup cook. Looks and smells so yummy. Guys, this smells so delicious. I just taste it, and I'm telling you, the ham bone make a big, huge difference. Whenever you have your leftover ham bone after Christmas, or whenever you make your ham, trust and believe. Make yourself some beef soup or some pea soup, and I'm telling you, mm -mm -mm. this right here. I can't wait to have a plate. I'm taking a big plate for myself on a cold winter chili day one of the best thing to have is some rich jamaica pea soup or chicken soup cannot go wrong very easy to make dinner is finished all done all done in four months four months for an appointment at DMV and I'm finally here yeah four months ridiculous I see why people always curse people at DMV because they deserve it I think DMV oh my god they just tap into my spirit today they, I, I don't know like what's going on in DMV the workers in DMV they need to be trained properly and have some manners to talk to people It's disgusting. DMV workers is disgusting. It's a shame. If anyone have ever been to a chiropractor before, comment down below and let me know your experience. I almost killed my chiropractor today. I've been coming here for quite some time now. So today's the first day. He said, let me try to, you know, get some movement in your neck because I've been having shoulder pain on the right side right here. So he was like, let me try to get some movement there. He did say I'm, I'm going to do it, but I didn't expect to hear my bone cracking that loud and that more literally all my neck with his two hands and like so I jump and I kick and I said like what are you doing <laughs> so when I jump he jump I right, guys so you know when white people get like maybe nervous or scared I would say they start to their color change pinkish or reddish so you could see on his face like he got you know because I jump up when I literally hear my neck he hold my neck and put it to the side and hear crick 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 I felt so, whew, 
I feel so embarrassed. I apologized so many times, but I was like, I did not, I know you told me you were going to do it, but I did not expect for my neck to be making those, like, I don't know, you're watching like a, like a scary movie before, and they just like creak, like, it's literally like, it's like, it's, it's screwing my head off, basically. He hold my head in his, in the palm of his both hand, and I feel like my, the way creak, my neck kind of creak, creak, it's like you're screwing my, my head from my body. That's, that's the sound that, like, that, that was flashed through my mind, like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Next time, explain to but I don't know. If you have ever been to a chiropractor before, comment down below and let me know your experience. I don't know. I expected to feel better by now. I know it's not been like two, three, four, five months or a year, but I don't know. Let's say this. I have good days and I have bad days. There are days when I, after the treatment and I go home, like my muscle is relaxed. I can sleep. I have a better sleep. And the day when I'm working, because, you know, being a medical bitter and coder, you sit for seven hours a day, right? Some people sit more, but to sit for four hours straight, then I get up, move around and sit for another, you know, hours and working. That's not good for us. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just think that sitting down by the computer for a long period of time, I know that it would like affect your eyes or if you type too much, then it starts like giving you pain in your finger joints and stuff. But my shoulder and my lower back, um, yeah, it's not fun. But I don't know. I'm going to give it another month or so and see what happens. But yeah. I did recommend though for me to get like a stand for my laptop where I can adjust the, 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 the height. So, because I look down on my deck because of course your deck is, you know, low. So I have to look down, typing and reading the codes, putting the codes in. And after a while, like, you know, your neck starts to affect you if you're doing it for a very long period of time. So I'm going to get a stand for my laptop and yeah, I've been more on my laptop now than ever because, you know, editing YouTube for hours, I'm doing my personal project that takes me uh, like a long period of time also on my laptop plus working. So like majority of my day I'm on my laptop. So I just need to get a stand. So instead of for me to look down that much, my neck and my posture can you know sit properly can align properly basically yeah let's see what the next 90 days brings with me going to chiropractor two three days a week but i've been sitting here looking at this jeep right here this wrangler and i'm loving them i've been seeing them so often in the summertime people would take the doors and the roof off like when I'm going to the beach, it's like, this is our summer. I'm loving them. I'm thinking, do I need to get myself a regular or what? The sun. Yeah. Happy Thursday. I'm in the park taking a walk. Just finished my nine to five. Today is somewhat a nice day. The sun is not shining, but it's not super cold, so I'll take it. I'm on my walk. <sighs> that was a good walk. I needed that walk after a long day sitting down by the computer. A walk in the park very refreshing very therapeutic for me I'm back home it's time to finally take my Christmas tree down it was fun while it lasts if you guys haven't checked that video out please check out my video what I got for Christmas I do those video every Christmas for the past three years for the past three Christmas it's about time it was fun while you last man this year I want to do more color on my Christmas tree. Yeah, let's tackle this Christmas tree real quick. I'm excited for this weekend. This weekend I'm doing a spa day. This Sunday I'm doing a spa day. 
I need a full body massage. I think I'm gonna do a full body massage and also a body scrub. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do this Sunday. So please guys, if you haven't subscribed or liked this video as yet, please to do so. I appreciate all the likes, all the comments, all the views. As promised, I'm being consistent on YouTube this year. That's one of my goals. That's one of my goals. It was fun when I was putting this Christmas tree up. It was fun while I was decorating it. But boy, oh boy, to take it down. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't oh no. Come on, we need you. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. I'm finally getting somewhere. put away and clean up until November again. I'm gonna move this egg chair from my bedroom and put it back in the space I just had my Christmas tree. Okay guys, thank you for watching. This week was a very busy 
productive week for me with this chair and the Christmas tree alone take a lot to put the Christmas tree away and to transfer the chair from my bedroom to my living room corner right here but I did it um this week was a pretty good week for me the second week of the year going into the third week of the year so far 2022 is pretty decent pretty normal month i've done so much work this week i was in that that mood this week to work you know and get things done so that's a plus for me i'm going to take a very hot shower and go to bed and prepare for my spa day this weekend. Oh, I need a body massage and a body scrub. Whew. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I am super tired. I see you guys in my next vlog. Thank you guys. Mwah.